Welcome to Roland Academy's Support Tutorials video series. Today's lesson will be tiling graphics with Cut Studio. To tile graphics in Cut Studio, let's look at the scenario. Customer walks into your shop and says, I'd like vinyl lettering on a banner. I want it to say weekend sale, and I want that lettering to wrap around the entire building, so I need a really long banner. Can you do 30 inch high letters? Well, technically in the software you can, but on the cutter you won't be able to. Because unless you have a GX300 or higher cutter, you won't be able to do that job. So here's how we can do it with the GX24. You can leave it in portrait mode or you can rotate it so it will go down the length of the cutter. And in kind of setup, you want to make sure that you set it to the most maximum dimensions you can so that we can get an idea of what kind of tiles we're going to use because the cutter simply isn't wide enough to do the job all at once. So we have to break it up into sections. Let's see, it's not 10 feet, it's not 20 feet, and it may be just slightly under 30 feet. So that gives you an idea of how large this sign is, but we can do it in Cut Studio. So we'll move our file to the origin, and you'll see that we have some extra space left over. We'll know exactly what to do with this once we start our tiling function. So tiling can be accessed under file and select tiling and the tiling window opens up. To tile your output you have the option to go up to 8 by 8. So for right now we'll just try 2 and 6 and you'll see what we have are the cutting dimensions we selected in the driver. Since we don't want to do 2 foot by 30 foot tiles, we'll break it down. The size of tiles we want to do are more likely to be 5 feet by 15 inches. And so now you'll see I have a managed tile size to work with. And I went overboard, so 6 obviously isn't how we want to do vertical. So we'll go back to File, Tiling, to open up the tiling window, and we'll simply back it down from 6 to 5. And you'll see that those top tiles went away. So now we have 10 tiles, roughly the size that we set in our cutter driver of 15 by 60. And so now what you have is instead of one job, you have 10 jobs. When you select cutting from the cutter, it will choose to treat that one weekend sale, 30 inch high letters, into 10 individual jobs that you can then take in, off the cutter and cut one at a time. All with perfect registration, easily capable of tiling. But what about the sticker? Now the sticker is a front loader. It has some driver limitations, but it doesn't mean that you can't tile. So let's take the same scenario. Customer comes in and says, I want a big banner with vinyl lettering that says sale. And I want 24 inch high letters. And again, a 24 inch high letter vinyl cut job is larger than the dimensions of the sticker. So we simply rotate it. We'll move it to the origin, and we'll notice that we have a 70 inch job we're working with here, and the sticker has a limitation of 39 in the driver. So we have to go to File, Cutting Setup, and here again, here we are, we're changing the size of the job to fit the graphic. What we're looking for is the width of the sticker by three feet at a time. Then we go into Tiling, and we'll choose two by two. And this will give us our perfectly split four tile job. Again our tiles are split to the width of the sticker by 36 inches and we click OK to go through each tile. Now one of the things I failed to mention earlier is that you can do multiple copies if you want to do multiple jobs. So simply do as many copies as needed per tile. And that's all there is to it. For more information, contact us at rollandga.com forward slash academy.